Uh, hello, it's, Ju it's July 4th, but not in Canada. In Canada, it is July 3rd. It's Greg's father's birthday today. Whoa, you guys. You want to sing? Can we sing it for Greg's dad? You haven't met Greg's dad yet, right? But who wants to come on the HK Canada trip next time, maybe? So maybe, Dad, maybe they're going to meet you. This is the amazing Murray and the fantastic Toma, who loves to keep moving. Can we sing happy birthday, guys? Are you ready? Tegina, you want to... Uh, no, no, no other leaders. Uh, Rito, you want to come sing happy birthday? Let's go. We'll do it fast, you guys. Fast. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Barry. Very like a blueberry. Here you are. Yummy, here you are. Strawberry, maybe strawberry instead. Toma, come back. You can say happy birthday. Nice, and Ray. Nice job, you guys, nice job. All right, happy birthday to you, Dad. I've lost track of counting, I'm sure you want to as well, <laughs> as I like to as well. And uh, anyway, happy birthday to you, love you, big guy. So you wanna say happy birthday to Greg's dad? Say happy birthday, Barry. Maybe you're gonna see Barry in Canada next time. Right? Yes, you want to go to East Cape Canada? Yes, all right, so lots of friends coming your way, big boy. All right, so here's worksheets for students for everybody else out there. And this week, it's a big challenge as we sing the HKIS summer song. The longer you can sing it, the more chances you have to earn your HK points. And you need those points, you need them. Because HK Presence Week is coming up just after the Canada trip. Right, Sagino? Right, she knows it. Here we go, worksheet number one. We're starting off, oh no, what happened to one of the words over there? Uh, well, it's okay. Teachers, you can write it in there. Gunma. Gunma's missing. So you can trace that first, and then students have to touch and sing. Canada, Chiba, don't forget Gunma. You have to touch in order. But teachers, you're going to have to write the word Gunma in there, okay? I'm not sure what happened with that one, but it's okay. Good chance to practice some more tracing. Right? Right, Tikino? Right, Toma's still cruising around with his car over there. Uh, Yuma, Yuma, can you say hello? Yuma, you want to say it? No, no, it's a, it's a you know, hello? Hello. All right, here we go. This one, yeah, Mariko, you have to go over and hold his hand, I think. He's kind of really obsessed about that car right now. I can sing it all. So here, you guys have to color this whole section. Because I can sing it all. I can sing it all. No, no, please, Yuma, Yuma, thank you. Mingo, Mingo, no more Nikos, just please stay with the kids. And here's number three. Don't forget Chiba, Canada, Guma. Write the numbers in the correct order, you guys, all right? You have one, two, three, four. Write them in the correct circles. Which one is number one? Which one's number two? Number three, number four. And as an extra challenge, teachers, you'll have to write the words in for some of the students. But here you want to write, first of all, number one, number two, number three, number four. And then Canada, Chiba. No, no, I, I already did it. I already did it. And then here, don't forget Gunma. So teachers, you'll have to write those words in with a tracer marker. But if you're a kindergarten leader, you'll probably do it by yourself. All right, let's see, who's, who are the kindergarten leaders? Hands up, kindergarten leaders. That's right, so for the kindergarten leaders, you can write those words in yourself. Everyone else, teachers, you can trace it for them, okay? All right, here we are with number five. Number five, here it is. Canada, Chiba, don't forget Gunma, and then one more time, and then don't forget to draw your pictures of Canada, Chiba, and Gunma. All right, so Mariko, this one here, you want to write the pictures for Canada Chiba Gunma up top, and then you want to rewrite the sentence one more time. Gunma is obviously Gunma, lots of A's. Okay, that's it for that. Moving on to number six. Here we go. I love the HKIS summer song because I can be sad when I sing it, or it teaches me new words and phrases. And then here you can see a music note. Sketch it out there. You can see another music note, sketch it out here. 
You got it, you guys. You got it. Number seven getting harder still. What can you see on the whiteboard? Here you can see Canada Chiba Toma Toma. Rico, can we stop the driving with the car, please? Thanks. So here you can see Canada Chiba, don't forget Gunma. And then there is so much to do. On the whiteboard, I can see the start of verse two and three. Mariko, that's not gonna do, Mariko. This is verse two and this is verse three. You see, being a teacher here really takes a whole bunch of passion and most importantly, skill. You have to know when you need to reiterate things, when you need to be a little bit more firm with your instruction. You need to know when to praise, but praise in a way that's not going to make others feel like they're not being praised. And so having that skill set is a really, really important part of being a teacher at the school. So, all right, so let's keep going. All right, here you go. Next one, number eight. Please write out all of verse one through five. So verse one, verse two, verse three, verse four, verse five. And yes, I did not put lines in here on purpose. I need you to predict how to write your lines. Don't take up all the space because you need to think about how many lines you have to write first. Okay? That's a tricky one, number eight. Very tricky. Here's number nine. And that's really not all. In Gunma, we can feel the flow. The flow as the river goes. It's amazing, I know. It's where I want to go. In verse 6, what words are missing? Write those words down below. All right, you guys, we're on to number 10 now. Number 10. I can write out all of verse 6. Go ahead, guys. You can do it. And number 11. Ooh, number 11, you guys. This is the entire... HKIS Summer Song. Verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, verse 4, verse 5, verse 6, verse 7, verse 8. This is the entire song, you guys. All right. But you, for this, for this verse, you have to sing it out, including the right tones, you know. Wow. Off to Chiba we go. Right? The right tones. Okay. <laughs> and here's number 12, last one of uh, Tuesday, July 4th. Verse 6 is all about Gunma. In Gunma, we can enjoy walking in the river and, and the amazing log house. Picture, please. That's it, you guys. That's it. So this week, remember, it's the last week that we're really focusing on the HKS Summer Song because next week, we're on to new topics. And we're going to be using the summer song as just part of our lesson. So this week, it's most important that you as students, teachers, understand the flow, the tone, the words, everything. Because next week, it's just part of the routine. All right, that's it. Where is Greg right now? Today is Tuesday, July 4th. And I'll tell you right now, I am back at HK Shiva Beach. Because last time I was out there, I did not have the weed eater with me. I had only the grass cutter. And the, the weed eating is growing all around the fence line, the air conditioner units. And that's becoming a problem. So that's where I am right now. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.